What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and today it is Money in the Bank 2020 edition. Alright guys, welcome back to another action figure setup for you guys today. It is Money in the Bank 2020 edition coming up this Sunday, May 10th. We do have Money in the Bank brought to us by WWE. Uh, brought to us by WWE, of course, but uh, this year things are definitely different, man. I feel like everything's just been crazy as hell this year. This year's been just, I feel like, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I think it's easy to say that 2020 has been not that good, if, it, if that's one way to put it. But nonetheless, we do have a great setup here of Money in the Bank 2020. Money in the Bank is one of my favorite stipulation matches of all time, probably second or third all time behind the Royal Rumble at number one. And you guys know if you missed my video on Money in the Bank being ruined for the last five years you definitely need to check out that video so this year i'm trying to be optimistic i'm trying to get in tune with it you know this year it's going to be a lot different if we're taking it to titan tower for the money in the bank they're going to have to climb from the bottom floor from the ground level all the way up onto the roof inside the ring climb the ladder grab the money in the bank briefcase from the crane and not only that guys we also have both the men's and women's money in the bank matches happening at the exact same time which i do not know how that's going to take place that sh that that just sounds weird and, and just, uh, I don't know, it kind of sounds awful, but I don't know. We're just going to go in with an open mind. Hopefully it's great, and maybe it'll be a lot better than we think. But I have filled up the entire arena. We got the whole backstage area filled up. We even got our own little Titan Tower setup build, but let's go ahead and start off our setup, guys, and let's start off in the weight room, okay? We have Kevin Owens over here in the weight room, my boy KO, and I'm really bummed out this year, man. I really wanted him to be in the money in the bank, but apparently he suffered an ankle injury. Don't know the whole true story status of that, but apparently that is the case. So I got his ankle put up right here on the bench resting. He's in the he's in the weight room getting rehabbed, getting ready to go. So that is what I have taking place here. He's just chilling out, trying to get his ankle ready so he can come back. I really wanted him to be in that Money in the Bank ladder match. That's obviously not going to happen for him this year, but I am cheering my boy on. It's just kind of crappy, you know, because he beat Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. You got all this momentum going for you, and then you get an injury and you got to chill on the couch and watch Money in the Bank take place. So Hopefully KO's taking care of himself, and I'm going to be ready for him when he gets back. I think he's about a couple weeks out or something like that, so him missing money in the bank does suck, but I know that uh, he will be ready to get back. And I don't know which angle it was, so I just went with the left. You know what? Screw it. I'm a lefty. Went with the went with the left one. We go to the right a little bit, guys. We do have Roman Reigns Superman punching Vince McMahon. You're probably wondering why the hell you got Roman Reigns knocking out Vince McMahon. Well, Brad, if you, if you know the rumor mill and everything, you guys know that Roman Reigns has taken time off of WWE to take care of him himself since he has a weakened immune system and he is at risk to you know contract the disease and the virus that's going around right now he wanted to take time off and go away i think he's filming a, a show or something i'm not exactly sure i think it's like a movie or a show and wwe didn't like that vince mcmahon didn't like that apparently they're not mentioning him on commentary they're not mentioning him on any given platforms regarding wwe or anything like that so i have him coming back to the performance center wherever the hell this is taking place i don't know if they're doing all the matches at the performance center and then the Money in the Bank matches are pre-recorded. I think that's what they're doing. I think it's going to be like a cinematic style for the Money in the Bank matches. But I have Roman Reigns coming back to WWE headquarters and giving a Superman punch to Vince McMahon because that's not how you should do it, man. Unless unless Roman Reigns made up an excuse and he went away and filmed some stuff and then Vince McMahon's like, what the hell, Brad? I thought you couldn't do things. So I, I don't know what the whole situation is, but I do respect Roman Reigns for if he was doing it for his own personal health and his own you know family and stuff like that, then you know what, Brad? You got to give it to him. But I have him Superman punching Vince McMahon nonetheless. If we come forward a little bit guys, we do have a fatal four-way match taking place at Money in the Bank between the New Day, the Forgotten Sons, the Lucha House Party and Miz and Morrison for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. We have a couple of the teams going battle right here. Big E power bombing Grand Metalik onto that stretcher. You know, that match is going to be pretty crazy I bet. Not very big on the Forgotten Sons or the Lucha House Party, so I don't really know who's going to win that matchup, but I do have a little action going on. You'll see the rest of that action going on later on. I don't have any Forgotten Sons figures just yet, but 
we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Over here, you guys will probably see Mandy Rose, and she's kind of awkward right there. That was kind of hard to get her to stand up without the, the wall falling behind the table and everything like that. But I have her having her hand. Since we don't have our Otis figure just yet, the Otis Elite 76 figure, it was supposed to be in by now, but due to everything going on, we could not get that figure in for the setup, and it would have been here on time, which is kind of unfortunate, but I have Otis through the door because you guys can see Mandy Rose, but I have Otis leading Mandy Rose out. He's not worried about the money in the bank. Obviously, he is taking place in that match, but he is uh, he's not worried about it, man. I mean, you got Mandy Rose right there. He, he's not even focused on the money in the bank, so I, that's what I got going on right there, a little symbolism. Right here, you guys will notice we got a, a chick in the trash can. That is Tamina, and she is going for the SmackDown Women's Championship, which is very weird to me, man. I, I really don't know why she deserved it, but we have Bailey putting her in the trash, because you guys know that we have a few talents to go in the trash around here. Trash Corbin, Tamina, Nia Jax, all them belong in the trash, so we do have Bailey, uh, you know, just taking out the trash, if you will, with the SmackDown Women's Championship around her waist, just taking out the trash, putting Tamina in there, and I think that's where she should go. We come forward a little bit, guys, in the performance center ring. We do have Seth Rollins giving a curb stomp to Drew McIntyre in the middle of the ring on the WWE Championship. Now, I don't think this is going to happen. I think that Drew McIntyre will retain the championship. Again, Seth Rollins did lose to Kevin Owens. I don't think it would be right for him to come right back at Money in the Bank after losing at Mania and getting this championship match anyways, but winning it is certainly not in the wheelhouse, so I think that Seth Rollins yeah, you know, you, you can give him a nod right here. I'm a big Seth Rollins guy. I like Drew McIntyre a lot, and I think that that Seth Rollins, you know, I'm going to give him a nod here in the setup, but I don't think he will win the championship. So I figured he could get the upper hand in the setup, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll move on from here and see what we got else going on in the setup. We got Carmella over here in the corner, guys, disposed of. She is taking place in the Money in the Bank ladder match on the women's side. She is disposed of through the ladders right here, if you guys can see. We got a little conjunction with the chairs over here. And you guys know all the people in that matchup. I don't think Carmella will win this. I know she's gotten her hands on that briefcase before, but I don't think this year is going to be her year again. You know, anything's possible, but I do not see that happening, so I do have Carmella disposed of because we got some stuff going on on the top of our roof over here. But if we come forward a little bit, we do have the Universal Champion Braun Strowman. Now, this is a similar case to that of Seth Rollins. Obviously, I do not see Braun Strowman losing the Universal Championship unless he's just going to be a transitional champion for the Fiend who is at the top of the ladder, hoisting the Universal Championship, trying to get that championship back in his grasp. I don't think that's going to take place. I feel like it'd be really weird booking anyways him being in this matchup because it's kind of a lose-lose. If the Fiend wins the championship back, you're right back at square one where you were before Goldberg and then if he loses, then he's just back to where he was when he was Bray Wyatt before the Fiend so I don't know man, it's just a really confusing booking situation. I wouldn't have put it up there, but I guess this is what we have moving forward. Braun Strowman disposed of, of course, through two tables, and The Fiend standing tall. I don't expect anything. I'm not looking forward to that matchup. I don't want Jan Strowman as the champion, but also, you know, what do you do? And the last part of the setup on this portion of our setup, guys, before we move on, we do have Aleister Black giving a black mask to Rey Mysterio because both of them are not on top of Titan Tight Tower battling for the briefcase. I know they're in there, but maybe they got you know, taken out, and then they got up, and they found each other, and they were like, you know what, Brad, we're not going to win this match, so let's just fight, and then Aleister Black knocked his ass out. So that is it for this portion. If we go over to the right side, we're going to come over here first before we go on top of our Titan Tower that I constructed. We have the Miz laid out on this car hood, and we do have Kalisto on top of this truck, and he's going to jump off right there. After we review this segment, I am going to let him jump off with a big old leg drop or something onto the Miz, but over here, we just have the rest of the tag teams doing work. We got Lindsay to Rod. Kofi Kingston, John Morrison. You got the tag titles laying around. You also have Kalisto battling with The Miz. And we are going to hit this leg drop right here and see if we can get something going. Well, that was absolutely shitty. How about that? I don't see you laughing now. Answer me. Sorry, I had to see that. But after that part of the setup, guys, let's go up to the top, okay? I've constructed my own Titan Tower right here. You guys will see I've got a ton of Elite boxes. I stack them on top with some cardboard boxes, and I put a ring on top with the Money in the Bank briefcase and the crane that will hoist the Money in the Bank. Obviously, you can see all my figures behind there. Don't, don't even look at that, all right? You can just imagine a nice skyline and some blue sky and stuff like that. We're going to come over here. You guys will see Daniel Bryan underneath the ring disposed of again. I think I've said disposed of like a hundred million times.
times in this video, but he's disposed of, man. He's taken out, and the winner of the men's Money in the Bank is AJ Styles. You guys know he won the last spot on Monday Night Raw, and I think he will win the match. I think that'd probably be the best case scenario for him. After losing to Undertaker and everything, what a better way to get him in the main event than a Money in the Bank briefcase, and uh, this will be a great little shot of AJ Styles on top of the ladder. After being taken out by Undertaker, he can climb the ladder, climb up, unhook the briefcase from the crane, and he is your new Mr. Money in the Bank. And then down here, we do have Asuka and Shayna Baszler, because I think they will be the last ones battling for that briefcase. Nobody's won that match just yet, and I'm not sure, are they going to have both matches end at the same time, just because they're happening at the same time? I don't really know how they're going to do that. I don't know how they're going to film it. I think it's going to be cinematic, so it should be pretty fun. But nonetheless, we do have both Money in the Bank briefcases hung. I love this little crane right here. I don't even know where the hell I got that from, but I had it, and I figured I wanted to use it here in the setup. Pretty cool stuff going on. I hate the lighting up here. You can't get all of my lights going, so that's kind of unfortunate, but I don't know if Shayna or Asuka's going to win the match, so I just have both of them battling. One of them's going to climb the ladder, grab the women's money in the bank, and then we have Daniel Bryan, who was super close, but he ended up failing, and then Aleister Black and Rey Mysterio are down there, and then Otis, of course, you guys know. Oh yeah, I forgot about Trash Corbin, right? So if you guys will see, obviously this is a building. Well, we had Trash Corbin and Nia Jax fall off the building into the bed of this dump truck, so that's what I had. I can't believe I freaking forgot those guys, but basically they were doing war up here with AJ, Daniel Bryan, and these two women, and then both of them fell and plummeted into the back of that truck, and we're just going to imagine this is a garbage truck, and this garbage truck can just wheel off Trash Corbin and Nia Jax off to wherever the hell they came from, and that is pretty much it for our WWE action figure setup, Money in the Bank 2020 edition. But that is going to do it for the setup, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. What are your predictions for Money in the Bank? What do you think of my stupid, terrible, awful-ass Titan Tower Money in the Bank setup? I wish I had, like, a nice building. Maybe I need to just construct a building or something. But nonetheless, AJ Styles walking out as Mr. Money in the Bank would be okay with me. I think Aleister Black would be cool, even though it doesn't fit his character, which is why I have AJ Styles winning. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Still pretty looking forward to Money in the Bank. I feel like we're super close to this thing being lifted, man. I really feel like we're getting closer and closer to everything going back to normal. I know it seems like we're freaking moving like a slug, but slowly but surely we are getting there, and I'm excited, man. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.